Hello, welcome back. I say to myself because I haven't posted in honestly almost a year, I think. Um, I filmed since then, but when it comes to the editing and the actually posting part, that's where there's connect happens. But I edited and posted this one clearly because you're seeing it. I'm manifesting that good vibes into the air. Um, I'm here today with a haul. I'm very excited. Um, it's a haul slash like a little bit of a favorites video because there's some things like I didn't buy recently but I did want to talk about. Um, and then also life update, I'm moving. Um, I've lived here in LA in Hollywood for um, just a little bit over a year. And while I like it a lot, there's a lot of things I don't like. So I'm moving more south to like Orange County area. Um, I'm gonna have a bigger place. I'm gonna have a one bedroom. Right now I live in a studio and you can see the whole thing. I'm sitting on my couch. That's my bed. That's my <laughs> closet. That's my bathroom, my kitchen's over there, TV's right there, what you see is what you get. So I'm very excited because like I'm literally gonna have like double the room. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. So should I be buying all this stuff right before I move? Probably not, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Move my cat, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start with beauty products first. So first thing is I got a new foundation. So I'm really struggling. I'm in my skincare era, if I'm being honest, I have quite a few skincare products to show. Um, and my personal favorite like beauty foundation look on other people is like the little to no makeup look, like sheer foundation, whatever, dewy. But I have like, I've always had ha acne pretty much and I have a lot of scarring from it. And so, I can't really have that look because it only looks good if you have clear skin, which is annoying. So anyways, I love this CC foundation. I kind of moved away from a little bit and was using the NARS foundation, but I just like don't wanna like it. So I think I need to get back to my tried and true. This is not my tried and true though, actually, cause it is a new product. It's the Nude Glow. So it's a color correcting medium covered skin tint, brightening glow serum, broad spectrum. You know, like I said, I just like don't really want the full coverage foundation look at this point. So this is what it looks like. Really excited to try it. Hopefully it works out. Um, next thing I got is this new primer. This has been like literally like all over my TikTok. Not people using it, but the ad. And the ad really got me. Part of my like makeup problem is my skin for whatever reason. Like I'll do a primer. I do... Um, foundation obviously I'll do a setting powder I do a spray whatever it is and like my foundation just like doesn't like to stay on my skin it's like likes to sit like on top of it and it just like doesn't look flawless um and this got me if I'm being honest it's a power grip primer and like in this things it makes it look like you're literally putting like super glue on your face so once again hopefully it works um in my makeup era um Something that I have added to my routine that I like. I always kind of used a beauty blender. It actually is the Real Techniques one, but I have a really hard time with my concealer because it's like so big. So I got these little mini beauty blenders. Um, so you can use them for like your concealer. And I know it seems like it's so extra, but it actually is like really helped me and I love it. Um, I'm gonna along that same, so I got a puff pad. Shout out Alex Earl. Like I said, my foundation moves everywhere. Her foundation always looks flawless. I do feel like this helps, I think. I'm just like trying to get used to it and trying to figure out what to do. Um, but I do overall like it, especially for applying setting powder. Um, so yeah, just those are, those are some things that I have been using for a while and I really like. Another thing of that matter is the Benefit Benetent. Um, I use it as blush sometimes. Here, I can put it on and I can show you. Um, you can't really apply it with like a sponge or a like beauty blender because it just like kind of soaks it right up, but you can apply it with your things, which is nice with your fingers. Cause it's just like kind of a one use product or you could apply it with like a stippling brush. Um, but the main thing I really use it for is my lips. Um, I work from home and I like don't want to put my makeup every day, but I like want to feel like a little bit refreshed. And so I'll put this, wow, I feel like that was a lot, but oh well. I'll put this on my cheeks and then my lips. And then I use Aqua for like nobody's fucking business. So we can go ahead and get that out of the way. This is like the best lips, chapstick, whatever, ever. I'll talk about it in a second. But anyways, so I'll put this on. It like stains my lips and then I could just put Aqua for on without the day. Because for me, no matter what lipstick I use, I really like lipstick. I really like gloss, but it tends to like, 
it sits like a like an extra layer of skin almost and then it like peels off throughout the day so I wear it if I'm like going out and about but like just in general for being home I like don't want to deal with that so I like to just put some of this on use my aquaphor speaking of aquaphor literally if you're using any other kind of chapstick especially chapsticks that have like menthol in them like please try aquaphor like I know the like cooling or like the whatever sensation is, you know, a vibe for some people, but like this, like actually all it does is just like coat your lips in like whatever it is, like petroleum jelly, and then just like keeps them extra moisturized. I don't really know how to explain it other than that. It's just the best thing ever. So I've used this forever and ever. And then I have like a big aquaphor that I use um, just like in general for like slugging and stuff. If you, once again, if you saw TikTok rules my life. So, um, but anyways, this is my favorite ever. And I like that it's like the squeezy tube better than the like chapstick version. I don't know. I just feel like I like the way it applies better. Um, oh, there's this and there's a brush with it. Um, I did buy a new brush. It's just like a basic thing, stippling brush or whatever, but this is the NYX, um, Tame and Frame. And I get the shade chocolate. It's a pomade. Um, for me, it works better if I wet my brush. Um, and then I do it on there. I have very fair or very thin and light colored eyebrows. So I have to color them in my cats, of course. Of course, they're just like wrestling behind me while I'm trying to film this. But anyways, so I feel like this gives the most natural look. I've used a pencil and stuff before, which I do like. But sometimes you can just see it. Um, so I like this. And then I got a new brush that goes along with it. But I don't know where the brush is right now. Um, next thing I got, all the rest is skincare. So this I've been using for quite a while. So like I said, I'm in my skincare era. I have always had acne. I've been using this for like almost exactly two months. It's the 10% benzoyl peroxide gel. According to Google, this used to be like dermatologist has to recommend it to you and then now you can get it over the counter don't really know how much truth there is in that regardless benzoyl peroxide is in like all kind of acne medications and i pretty much told myself like i'm gonna try this and if this doesn't work i'm gonna just bite the bullet and get on accutane because i'm like at this point i'm like almost 25 i'm like i say i'm insecure about my acne i get i'm talking about it openly but like in the real life world like it really is fucking annoying and it's embarrassing so I just want to have clear skin and so I'm using this. I do think that it has been working. I've been taking progress pictures. It's hard to tell because I have never been to a dermatologist. Dermatologist, I think I have hormonal acne. So I think it like goes with my cycle flare wise. So it's, I feel like one week I'll be like, oh my God, my skin's looking so much better. And then the next week it doesn't really feel like it. Also, it's hard to tell any progress when I just like have scars. So is it working? I think it is. Um, also, part of the reason I haven't gone to the dermatologist yet is because I'm afraid they're going to say, like, it's your diet, which, like, valid. I don't really want to change my diet. But I guess that that's what fixes my skin. And it could also... Uh, uh, I'm hoping this works. But I do think it has been working. And overall, if you have, like, certain... Um, spots or like breakouts or whatever it definitely helps to like treat it right away um it is pretty sensitive like when i first started using it my skin felt really hot and tight and i was using my like ice roller all the time but then your skin gets more used to it and you can use it more times a day um so yeah i use this i um usually like if i wore makeup that day i'll like wash my face like right when i get off work at like five o'clock and um, wash my face put on my toner and then apply this and then let it sit for like the whole evening and then right before I go to bed I'll do like my moisturizer and like my serum my other skincare because I feel like it's better if it just like lets it sit by itself and like do its thing but it's up to you try it figure out how to work it is like intense um so speaking of other skincare so this is a serum I got these both of these products actually shout out um I sister-in-law's sister i think that's still called my sister-in-law shout out stephanie um but got me these she was my secret tan it was in like a sephora like makeup kit and so this is a serum it's the claudial radiance serum and it's supposed to help acne scars and i honestly really feel like it has been helping i got it for christmas so once again i've been using it for like two months it's just a trial size and i'm about like halfway through so I am going to be purchasing it again because I feel like I could just wait for them to fade or I could do something that works. And this one's like really highly talked about. So I was so excited when she got me this. And then this is the um, Biosense, Bi Biosense um, Omega Repair Cream. And this I use under my eyes and then right here because 
I smile all the time, AKA I'm getting smile lines. So in addition to my normal moisturizer, which I use the CeraVe like nighttime moisturizer, it's super light, but I apply this as like a, like I said, under our cream, whatever, never too early to start with skincare. Ladies and gentlemen. And then these are brand new. I just got these. This is the Mighty Patch. Um, part of my skincare era is not popping my zits to try to help the scarring. And so I feel like this will help one because then I just can't pick at it. And two, like they're actually supposed to help relieve the zits. So this was an impulse purchase, kind of, as I was checking out at Ulta. But also I've been wanting to get them. So here we are. Um, okay, that's all the like makeup products. So this, I got a necklace set. I'm just like can't help myself. I'm supposed to be building up my real gold jewelry collection, which I have some that like I've gotten for gifts and stuff. But also I'm just like a sucker for one of these. So I have this has like a little like, I think it's like an angel thing on there. These have little butterflies. It's just some chain. And I really like to mix and match. So like this necklace and this little charm didn't come with it. And so I feel like I'll probably maybe end up taking this charm off if I can and do it on whatever. I'm always like running out the door so late and I'm like working with pliers to get my jewelry to like be exactly how I want. Crazy. Um, so this is fun. Um, next thing going into like home items. So this is like literally if you buy one thing from this, like probably the most expensive thing, get yourself a neutral bullet. I don't have the bottom part attached to it right now because it was just, I didn't want to unplug it and move it from my kitchen. But I bought this last weekend and I um, have been, I drink smoothies like pretty much every single day for lunch. And I've been using my old, it was like a Hamilton Beach or whatever blender I got when I first moved out. So like six years ago, moved out of like um, my family home. And um, it was fine, but it was for one, so bulky to store. And like, I don't like having things on my countertop. So I was like literally moving it into the cabinet and out every single time. Two, it's annoying to wash and then you like are using a cup and so you have to wash the cup as well. Three, it just like honestly didn't blend that well. Um, and there's like a whole bunch of buttons. There's like all these different speeds and pulse and everything like that. And I was like, really wanted to get Nutribullet. I texted Paige, cause I know she also has smoothies all the time. And she was like, I have a Nutribullet, I love it. And I was like, sold. So I got the Nutribullet, it's amazing. This thing screws off and there's like a little ring thing you can put on, you can just drink out of this. For one, so aesthetic. For two, only one dish to wash. This is super easy to clean. They even have a smaller little attachment and literally all you do is like push it down and it blends for you and it blends way better than like my regular blender did. So quick, I like my smoothies like super like liquidy. I don't like have to have to like feel like I'm sucking really hard at the straw pretty much um and it just is amazing so get yourself a neutral bullet best thing ever um along with the home thing i got this do i need this no but it is it's so cute yeah once again for the aesthetic little timer thing love it i don't use my alexa timer for one it freaking always is disconnecting from the internet like it's it tell me if anyone else have that has an alexa problem for two it's like boop, boop, boop. Boo, boo, boo. and I can never hear it. My apartment's literally the size of a fucking shoebox. My kitchen is right there and I still can never hear it with like my TV on. So I always put it on my phone. Um, and But I don't know, I'm just like, this is so cute. So I think you just like twist it and like set it to the time. I don't know, didn't probably need it, but I feel like it is really cute. Um, next thing is I got, this was like at the front of Target, this little tray. Um, I feel like I have things, but they're just like strewn about my house in like weird ways. And I'm addicted to candles. Like I always have like at least two candles lit at one time. It's a serious problem. Um, and so I was like, this would be so cute to like put a candle in and like some little other things. So that was my goal, this trip. So I got this candle kind of for decor purposes. It does smell good. So I probably will end up lighting it. Um, it is enchanting tuberose, um, with notes of neroli, clove pinks, lush tuberose, jasmine buds, and sandalwood. Okay. Um, and I'm a big fan of like musky or like sea breeze, clean laundry. I don't like sweet scents really at all, but so I feel like this might be cute. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it's not cute. This is like $3. So if it doesn't work out, whatever, but new candle to put in it cutesy candle um and then i also got this little thing i don't know if i love this whole fake flower vibe i feel like it is kind of cute but if not i like the jar and i could put other things in it so like something like this 
I don't really know. And then once again, for the aesthetic, I got match. What is these called? Strike on box match book, match box. I don't really know. I wanted cute ones and I looked at Target. They didn't have them. I even looked on Amazon. They didn't have them. I think the only place you can get like the really cute ones is on Etsy. Listen, I'm not an Etsy girl. I love the idea of it and so many cute things people get from Etsy, but I just, in my head, it's going to take so long to get to me and I need like immediate like if I think about something, hmm, I want it, I want it right then. Um, oh my God, this is so cute. So once again, I feel like matches are just like the vibe. So I think I might like color this black just cause like that's not the vibe, but the matchbook itself is the vibe. Um, and then once again, have it in my little thing, be honest. I love an honest person. Is this look bad if it's like sitting on a little counter with these little things together? Let me know. Um, so yeah, that's like all the home. Oh, one more home thing I got is this little like hand towel set. I go through paper towels. Like my carbon footprint is how many paper towels I use. And I feel horrible about it, but I'm also just like, ugh. And I don't have a dishwasher here. My new place has a dishwasher. Hell fucking yeah. But so every time I do anything, I'm washing my dishes and then water gets everywhere. And then I have to wipe my hands off with a towel. And then I have to wipe down the thing with a towel. So I got these in hopes that like when I wash my hands or whenever I can just wipe my hands on these. And I feel like they're cute enough. Um, they're white and black. They'll match. They match honestly my new place more than they match this. Because I'm not a big fan of mixing blues and blacks um especially dark blue and my cabinets are like navy here and this is black but it's the kind of black that I feel let me say black one more time it's the kind of black that I feel that um if it's next to blue it almost looks blue you know you know which is part of the reason I don't like mixing blues and blacks but I feel like this would be good anyways it'll look great in my new house um because it has black appliances except for a fridge this is a real question why the fuck Every apartment that I looked at, except for one, doesn't come with a fridge. Like, for what reason? Because most places there's a different size, like, hole probably. So, so what, you buy a fridge and then you move it or you buy a new fridge every time? My mom's theory is that if you buy a fridge, like, for that place that fits it, you'll be more likely to stay long term. I don't really know about that, um, perhaps, but... So now I have to buy a fucking fridge, which is annoying, um, especially because I'll probably only end up being there for a year because like I love Southern California. Nobody asked me, but I'm gonna tell you anyways, I love Southern California. It's so fucking expensive. I know, blah, 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 blah. Shut up about it, okay? I'm saying it now, so it's okay. We can talk about it, but you're still not allowed to talk about it. It is really expensive. And I just don't know. Like I look at other places and I'm like, wow, I could live there and do so much more things if I wasn't paying so much money for rent. And my social circle here, let's just say nobody's gonna be missing me if I <laughs> I'm just kidding, I have a couple friends. But all that to say, no, I'm not really leaving much behind. I don't really have ties anywhere. I work remote, I can go wherever I want. So I think I'm only gonna stay for another year in Southern California and then I might move. On my list is possibly Arizona, possibly Colorado, possibly Texas if they legalize weed. <laughs> not gonna happen. Um. So towels, I don't really know. Okay, last bunch of stuff I got. Clothes, and me, Sydney, here's me. I'm like fucking like almost 20 minutes into it. Hopefully I edit down a little bit, but, and I was like, I don't know if I have enough stuff to film a video. You don't have enough, maybe you don't have enough stuff, but you have enough, that's me, gabbing. Um, I'm a hat girl now, if you didn't fucking know. Look at how cute this is. Malibu Tennis Club, love it. Um, and I really like this color normally I stick to black right my other hat you can see it actually back there is black um but so I was like oh could I go with this color but I really like this color I feel like it'll look good with my hair um and I always wear black regardless so if my one pop of color is this hat perfect um so I love this um next thing I got this sweater now I saw this sweater from afar are you fucking kidding me literally the girl that checked me out every single time I go to Target and actually the last time when I was going to Mexico and I filmed a haul this same thing happened 
and it happens to me all the time. At this point, I know how to get them off, but it's so annoying. And I literally at Target was like, she bagged up all my clothes. And I was like, oh, did you get all the little things off? She was like, yeah, yeah, I did, no worries. And I was like, okay, thanks. Like, I know they're easy to miss. I was like, I just always end up getting my stuff home and they have them on here. I'm not hating on retail workers. I kind of want to slash that girl's tires. Like, if you weren't sure, double check. I asked you to double check. Ugh, ugh. Anyways, I saw the sweater from afar. I love a sweater vest, um, especially because like in LA, the seasons, there's just like one season, which I love that season. I love the weather in LA, if I'm being honest, but sometimes it feels hard. Like you don't get a, you have an expansive wardrobe. So I love this because you can wear it with like nothing under it. And it's like, oh, it's still like kind of cozy weather, but like I'm not dying of heat. Cause like I'm on a turtleneck right now. It was like 57 degrees out. And I was so fucking hot because it's like the sun is here. It's closer. Also, where I in Oregon, for those of you, obviously, hottest time of the day is like 4 or 5 p.m. In LA, Southern California, it's like 12 p.m., which is always when I go out. So it's like peak hotness. Sun is right there. Just hot. Anyways, got the sweater vest. Look at it from afar. I'm like, this is kind of cute. They kind of look like almost like little like flowers. They're rips. Mm, I still bought it. Cause I still feel like I can style and it could look cute. We'll see. Fucking annoying. This is annoying. I feel like I'm valid in saying that. Um, next thing I got is this also just like not weather appropriate. I'm going to be able to wear it for like three more weeks and then it's going to be too hot. But this little thing, um, I feel like this is for girls who are like, you know, don't really have a lot of boobs or like super teeny tiny and they just wear nothing under it that really won't be happening for me I'll probably wear like a bodysuit or like a little tank top under it but I feel like it's still really cute I like that it ties in the front it's like very girly dainty I might even wear it with like a little skirt or something cute moment and then the last thing I got are these pants I've been looking at these style of pants quite often but I always just assume that they're not going to be long enough for me but Right now, the style is to wear pants that are like far too long for you, I feel. And so that's beautiful for a long-legged gal like yours truly because they actually fit me. So I held them up and honestly, they feel like they looked good. So hopefully they look cute. Um, and yeah, they're like super wide leg. They're, they're, they had a bunch of other colors. Also, like I said, everything is from Target except for... Some of the makeup stuff was from Ulta. Um, so yeah, gonna have to check it out. Um, or you're gonna have to check it out. <laughs> I clearly already checked it out. But yeah, that is my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you guys end up buying any of this, um, if you end up trying it out, if you have things you suggest I should try out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Maybe I'll film some moving content. Probably not, if I'm being honest, because, um, really no other reason than I'm just not good at filming, like, a lot of clips. Like, if I'm, like, sitting down and filming one video, I'm good, but who knows? My family will be here to help me move, so that'll be nice. Um, but yeah, I do want to like at least film a clip of my apartment before I leave and then a clip of my new apartment just like to compare because it's literally, I live in a hotel room, like we'll say a suite because it has a kitchen, but like in reality, it's the size of a hotel room, probably honestly a little bit tighter because normally there's like couch, walk, 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 bed. This, this is my bed. <laughs> this is my couch. This is my living room. So Studio life was fine for a year. We'll never fucking do it again. And I'm moving to a one bedroom place. And that's all there is to say about it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, night, morning. Bye.